laboratory, a human, as a humor laboratory. In this evening's speech, he will be experimenting with some humor techniques. Bob hopes you enjoy them. The title of the speech is Planes, Trains, Automobiles, and Buses. Please welcome up Bob Meltzer.
wanted was to find the exit. They didn't have a sign to the exit. So I dragged all my luggage down this corridor and I found the exit. I was out on Lexington Avenue on 142nd Street. So I had, I was going to go back into Grand Central. So I had to drag that monster bag for three, for three blocks where there was this mass of humanity running all around, people not looking at where they're going. The effect of Grand Central goes outside its walls, by the way. And I finally got to 42nd Street. Found out that I had to be on 41st Street. <laughs> <laughs> Under normal circumstances, one block does not make that big, big a difference. This was not normal circumstances. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I got to 42nd Street, got on the bus, took me to JFK Airport. Went to where I checked my luggage, decided I was going to check two bags, not just the monster bag. They charged me $60 for the privilege. But that was money well spent. Because once I got through TSA and I put everything back in the bag that they wanted me to take out, and I put everything back in my pockets that they wanted me to take out of my pockets, <laughs> and I put my shoes back on, <laughs> then I had to walk about a million miles to get to the gate. <laughs> but if you expect a sob story about the plane being late, then that. The plane was on time. <laughs> we were packed in like sardines, but the plane was on time. And I wrote that sardine can for six hours. Got to Seattle, got off. I had to walk another million miles to get to my <laughs> next gate. But the plane to Bellingham was also on time. And it got there on time. And if you expect the sob story about them losing my luggage, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, the luggage got there just fine. <laughs> Bellingham is this nice small airport. I didn't have to walk a million miles with my monster bag plus three. <laughs> So my story had a happy ending. Until two days later, when I realized that I had caught a nasty cold <laughs> somewhere during that planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> Lugging around my monster bag, plus three. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs> <laughs>